from it to be uninfluenced by other people. That means unfollowing or unsubscribing. Then do it. That's a little note for myself, by the way. Temptation killer number one. Disable one-click payment options on your devices. If you have to input your credit card information every time you make a purchase, it gives you that time to think, do I actually need this purchase? Temptation killer number two, unsubscribe from the email people that you follow. And maybe it's influencers, maybe it's department stores. If you need to, you can keep a little list of the people that you are subscribed to that you maybe in the future would like to subscribe to again. And then at the end of your challenge, you can review it and see, do I actually want to resubscribe re to this person? Number three goes right along with it. And that is temptation killer number three, unfollow on social media. Oh, this is hard because you feel a little bit like you're betraying the person. You can make a list of the people that you follow right now that you're going to unfollow for this challenge period. And in the future, at the end of the challenge, reevaluate. Temptation killer number four, do your research. Take time to research the item and use the pause period like we talked about in the last video. If you missed that, go back to part two for a little review. What it is is for every $10, I'm going to take one day to review the purchase. So if the purchase is $100, I'm going to take 10 days to review that purchase. I'm going to use that time to review um, any kind of product reviews that are there. I'm going to use it to ask myself the questions that I want to ask myself. And then just also just to re like really evaluate my space. Do I have room for it? All those kind of questions. Temptation killer number five, review your purchases with an accountability partner. Maybe it's a spouse, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a really nice coworker that you trust. Make it somebody who's going to hold you accountable to your goals. Temptation killer number six, inventory everything that you own. Seriously, everything that you own. I'm going to do it. Are you going to do it? Every month I'm going to add to my inventory list the things that we bought, if it's actual things, not just consumable things. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing it monthly, Make, keeping it fresh in my mind. I already have 10 shirts. I don't need another shirt. Temptation killer number seven, make a home for it. If you have a home for say four shoes, four pairs of shoes, and you're going to buy a new pair of shoes and you're like, well, I have two options. Either I can get rid of a pair of shoes to make room for this new pair of shoes, or I could just not buy the pair of shoes and just keep the ones that I have. And this goes right along with temptation killer number eight, because it can be really tempting to just replace all the things that you own, but you don't need to because temptation killer number eight is practice gratitude and contentment for what you already have. Being grateful for what you already have can reduce those feelings of like, I need it. I want it or sadness. You feel content and it's okay. If there's other options out there, you feel like you don't need those options. You're content with what you have. Temptation killer number nine, remind yourself often that there will be another sale. This one is for me or that those similar items are going to come back around. Nothing's ever urgent unless your health is involved. And the last one is temptation killer number 10, plan for experiences in place of things, especially when it comes to gifts. Um, I could give my kid 10 experiences at the swimming pool for the cost of five remote control cars. I think that he would actually like the swimming so much better than all the remote control cars in the world because I can play with him. It's an experience where he's feeling with his body and you just feel more alive when you're experiencing things. So living your life is more important than owning more things. Don't get caught up in that shiny object syndrome. Be strong. Come back here. <laughs> So come back here for the next video where we're going to talk about, so in the next video, we're going to talk about, in the next video, come on back. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thank you. I love you. Mwah.